crystal clear seawater, and the historic Malabrigo Lighthouse. A piece of heaven in the southernmost tip of Batangas. This is Chanson Saplan, 21, a nature lover. And I will guide you to the obscure beauty of Barangay Malabrigo here in Lobo, Batangas. Fishing is the primary source of livelihood in Barangay Malabrigo. Locals can add more food on their table if they have additional source of income. The answer? Tourism! But compared to the other well-known beaches in Batangas, those have sands in their own beauty which is perfect for different activities. And that's what beach lovers want. Us? We have pebbles. For us to get more tourists and benefit from the richness of this place, we need to promote its raw beauty. But the main attraction is underwater. Scuba diving alone is a $12 billion industry per year. A piece of that could make a lot of difference to the people of Malabrigo and the economy of Lubo. In order to do this, we need to develop the area through the help of investors by building dive resorts. But let us not forget that we need to maintain the beauty and the richness of this paradise. I want to impose my advocacy of uplifting lives through tourism as well as maintaining the raw beauty of our environment. Environmental maintenance alone is a job created from tourism. We can get funds for the preservation and conservation of the area by charging an environmental fee from the tourists. Another icon of this barangay is the Faro de Punta de Malabrigo or the Malabrigo Lighthouse. Built in 1891 during the Spanish era, this lighthouse serves as a guide for ships passing through the Verde Island Passage. This structure stands the test of time and is a living testament for the people of Lubo that if we help each other and care for our own land, nothing can bring us down. I am Chosen Saplan, candidate for Mr. Lubo 2019.